Like we have exclusive video of Demarcus Johnson being taken into the Shelby County Jail. He's now the fourth person accused in the assassination plot. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Daryl Green. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is live at 201 Poplar right now. In fact, she was the only reporter there when Johnson was let in in handcuffs. Dominique. Yes, over an hour ago, we watched Jermarcus Johnson get taken out of an unmarked SUV. Then we watched the gang unit walk him into 201 Poplar. Earlier this afternoon, Memphis police posted Johnson was wanted for conspiracy to commit first degree murder in the killing of young Dolph one year ago. Sources tell Fox 13 News Johnson surrendered a few hours later, proclaiming his innocence. Our sources also tell us Jermarcus Johnson is the half brother of Justin Johnson, who is already in jail charged in young Dolph's murder. What we're still working to learn is Jermarcus Johnson's alleged role in the killing. The other three people charged in the case are all accused of murder, attempted murder, and conspiracy. Police have only listed a conspiracy charge against Jermarcus Johnson thus far. That could indicate they don't believe he played an active role in the killing, but allegedly assisted in the planning. We checked Jermarcus Johnson's criminal record, but couldn't find any previous cases here in Shelby County. But again, tonight, Jermarcus Johnson is here at 201 Poplar facing a conspiracy charge in Young Dolph's murder. That arrest coming just a year after Young Dolph was gunned down. Back to you. That is Fox 13's Dominique Dillon. Thank you, Dominique. We'll see you later in the newscast. Meanwhile, several other people are also charged in connection to the murder of Dolph. Hernandez Govan is charged with planning the murder. He was in court yesterday. He pled not guilty to all of the charges against him. Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are both charged with first degree murder. And this man, Shundale Barnett, is charged with accessory after the fact. There is a first degree murder warrant out for his arrest. Barnett was arrested with Justin Johnson earlier this year in Indiana, but he was later released and they haven't been able to find him since. New information into our newsroom regarding the arrest of the fourth suspect in the shooting death of young Dolph. We now know what role Jamarcus Johnson allegedly played in the plot to kill the Memphis rapper. Action News 5's Kelly Cook joins us live now in studio with the very latest. Kelly. Well, Joy, here is the latest mugshot for Jamarcus Johnson. Just three hours after MPD asked for the public's help in locating him, police say he turned himself in to authorities. Turns out Johnson's alleged role in this case came after young Dolph was killed. I just spoke with District Attorney Steve Mulroy, who says Johnson has been on their radar for quite some time. Well, the, this new suspect uh, is charged with conspiracy, and we're alleging that he helped one of the shooters escape and he helped one of the shooters receive money for the solicited murder. Jamarcus is being charged with conspiracy to commit first degree murder, and although more charges may be coming. MPD says Johnson is from Memphis. We checked the system, and under the spelling of the name used in his booking, we found only one previous charge linked to that name. It's a misdemeanor marijuana possession charge that was later dismissed. This fourth suspect has the same last name as another suspect in this case, Jermaine Johnson, also known as Straight Drop, but MPD would not confirm if they are related. Today's uh -huh. recipes flipper, man. Um, so as y'all just seen. The fourth suspect in the dog shit turned itself in type shit, right? But did you see all that other shit? Like all the other information in the in the news report? Like they on some like it was a paid hit shit. And then, you know what? That and that's what with rappers and with street niggas, we always like think that. Or like the fans too, who don't who ain't really from the street. But niggas always think like when it's some beef shit and somebody dies that it was some money on a nigga head or like but if that's the fucking case, that is, it ain't crazy. It's like, it's what's being, niggas sh shouldn't be surprised, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, Dolph, his, uh, his um, anniversary of him being killed was, uh, was it yesterday? The 17th. Um, and which was all, all also the first annual Dolph Day, which is a, 
Um, an event they're running in Memphis. I hope they keep that shit going forever, yo. I hope they should keep that shit going until his son is 21. You know what I mean? That's good. They're giving out food. They're giving back to the community. Beautiful thing. You know what I mean? There's no way in hell that young Dolph should have died in vain. One thing about it is, this is just one thing we're going to all have to realize, bro. I'm going to tell y'all, young Dolph got me through some of my hardest times, bro. And made me motivate. I swear to God, I was, I'm talking about down to prison, nigga. Like, that was one of the niggas I was listening to him in prison. I, I wasn't on the street listening to Dolph at first. I, I was in prison. Then I came home. But, man, that A+, plus, first thing I do when I wait. Like, Dolph was an inspirational, you know what I'm saying, um, figure. Figurehead in the black community. So, it's like, you can't let him. Just like a pit, Biggie or Tupac or anybody, Nipsey or... No, none of them niggas, you can't compare them to each other. But you can also say that they're all... They gave back more than, you know what I'm saying? You can see where they was, the trajectory was going to go, where they was going, you know what I'm saying? You can just see it. You know what I'm saying? I always say that Nipsey was, is West Coast Jay-Z. He was on his way to being the West Coast Jay-Z. I, I mark my words, man. R.I.P. Nipsey, too. R.I.P. Biggie's, um, Pac, all of them. But, yeah, so they saying that the nigga, the nigga Jamarcus Johnson, he was, Aiding and abetting, he was picking, helping bro go get the money for the head, and and it's all alleged. You know what I'm saying? Let me. I, ho I, I hate that I have to say that. I don't even like to use the word hate, but I really hate that I have to say that. But for the idiots, you know, how the fuck you? I, we don't know. We just saying this is alleged, bro. But I don't think, feel like I should have to say alleged every time. But for the idiots in the back, allegedly, that's what they say he did. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Damn, bro. It, it, you know, you know, you important motherfucker when niggas band together to get you, man. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, one nigga get you too, but when niggas band together and band together, and you know what I'm saying? You know, you was something to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just kind of wish that, um, why did Dolph go to that, that fucking cookie shop that day, bro? Like, damn, bro. And you can't really get mad at him, too, that he ran his way. You know what I'm saying? He back around the way. He just, oh, let me go get something. That's like your little favorite Jamaican spot or your favorite um, seafood spot around your way or your favorite, whatever your thing is around your way, wherever, wherever all y'all are from. It's like you can't knock a nigga, but it's like, bro, you not the same nigga no more, though. You not, though. I know it's fucked up. But this is what you work for. You work for not to be that same nigga, but... He did the same nigga move. You know what I'm saying? And everybody be like, I'm the same nigga. I never changed, nigga. Da, 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 da. But Nipsey. I mean, come on. Probably your cousin, somebody that you know. Not even nobody famous. Like, this shit is just a tragedy, bro. And it's like, all, it's so many lives lost from the niggas who allegedly did it to him. It's so many lives affected. You know what I mean? That this shit just. Where Black Lives Matter at right now? What they at when that boy got um when all them niggas be getting killed, bro? They, they only do that shit when only hear Black Lives Matter when it's the police killing a nigga, bro. Like I agree with the slogan, but where's the organization who pushing that shit? Like it's only Black Lives only matter if somebody is a, a non-black doing something to a black. You see what I'm saying? That that shit ain't right, bro. That shit ain't right. That shit ain't right, bro. And that's why I ain't never, me personally, that's why I ain't never buy no merch from them fucking people, them BLM people. I ain't never, I support the slogan because black lives, yes, black lives do matter. Let's let it be known that we do matter. But as far as buying they shit and donate, I ain't, don't, I ain't never trust that shit, bro. But where they at now? Why they ain't frontlining for not just Dolph or just Nipsey, just your local, they should have chapters, nigga, in each city, like. But I don't want to make this. I ain't trying to bash them. But I'm, that's just how I feel. Like that's just that always ring off in my head. Like, cause it's black on black. Everybody. I didn't see one white person yet on this young Dolph case. The closest nigga to something else is the Hernandez nigga. And that's, I don't know if his is, is he Spanish. I mean, I'm guessing he's. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Latinos brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? And my Afro Latinos and all that. But I'm like nigga, it's only niggas. And basically, they black. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this black on black like a motherfucker. This, you know what I mean? With a dab of multicultural on that bitch. You hear me? But recipes, Dolph, man, is a total loss. This shit is, this shit is, I, I, I keep telling y'all, this shit is going to get worse and worse, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is one of them situations where you go do this. Let's think about it. I always say this. They went and killed this man broad daylight like it's a fucking movie. 
Like, you're going to really just, let's go shoot up the restaurant. Like, fucking is the 1930s with Al Capone or whenever the fuck he was around. Lucky Luciano and these niggas. Bro, you know how many fucking cameras and you? They're not going to let that fly, my nigga. That's going to look bad on their name. In return, they got to get on your ass. You know what I'm saying? And what, which I didn't, I'm not surprised that all these niggas getting caught and snitching on each other. I'm not. Why the fuck would I be surprised? Look how fucking stupid. Who, whoever was the mastermind of this shit was not a master. <laughs> you feel me? Like, nah, nigga. Like, and it's, it shows such as follows. You see what I'm saying? R.P. Dolph, man. Y'all let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, man. Oh, R.P. X, too. R.P. X. <sighs> I'm gone. Yeah, I smoking gas. Feel like I cute. Feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. I feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute. I'm sipping that red solo like I cute. Yeah. Yeah. I got all these bitches.